All right, today we're gonna make um, a layout. I'm gonna show you guys how to make a layout for your uh, Twitch. Um, if you wanna make it look more fancy and professional and all that good stuff, so. All right, here we go. First, you want to, let me click here. Well, it's not, let me put this down some. All right, there. Now, first off, this is where you're going to, if you're doing it, I only know how to do Photoshop, so I'm going to show you how to do Photoshop. Um, I saved my preset. I have 1920 by 1080. That's my, um, you want to make sure it's pixels, too. This is my mono resolution right here. Whatever your mono resolution is, put it right here. Leave all this stuff here exactly the same. Make sure it's transparent. Click OK. And here we go. So, all right, let's do a search, Google search for textures. We'll just say you want a blue. Make sure you do a resolution to your desktop. Uh, we'll say blue 1080p texture. I'm just gonna show you something real basic. All right, now we'll go back in here. Let me exit out of the Trillion real quick. All right. Now we paste that. We have a layer. So now what we'll do is we'll go in here. We will exit out of that and look for another one. This looks cool, so I'll use this. Paste that on top of it. Now we'll go right here, and we'll just go through all these until we find something that looks cool. Uh, let's see. I might stick with that one. We'll go with... Go with this one. I'll go back up here. Let's go find another one. We'll pick this. That looks simple enough. Paste that in. And you just mess with these. Every time you paste something, make sure you paste whatever you whatever you copied on top, like the top layer. That way it blends in with everything. We'll use this right here. Okay, so what you want to do is click on all these. Hold shift down and click on each one of these. Right click, click merge layers. Now it's merged. Um, we will just say we want to use white for our color. Um, it would help if it was sh if it would show up. Okay, there we go. Twitch username. We'll put that. Now, there's many different things you could do with that. You could use different text. I'm just using this. Beef that up some. Put that noise up a little bit. Now what you want to do is you want to cut a little box. This is your, uh, by the way, since it's transparent, you want to make a transparent layer down at the very bottom. Transparent, make sure that you can run your games. Like, um, you're going to cut a hole right here, and this transparent background will be underneath whatever this is right here, this blue stuff like this background wallpaper so you want to make sure this transparent backgrounds underneath there and now you want to cut a hole so we're going to select the background layer and we're going to cut a hole let's just say that big 
Now we'll go into here, right click, drop shadow, stroke, and you can lower that down and make that look a little bit better. And I lower the pasty a little bit. All right. Now you can put a chat box here, so we will do that. Actually, we'll put it up here. Uh, go back up here. Or the text some. Now we'll go here and we'll make another layer. You add another layer. Say what you want your text box or your chat box right here. Should be big enough. Right there. Hold Alt down now. If you do that, it makes another one. There you go. Now we will fill it in, right? Oh, we'll use that. We'll say we want a, like a purplish or something. And now you have that. Now you right click, do the strokes and all that stuff. Uh, you might want to lower the opacity some. Now we'll do a cam. I was wondering why it wasn't capitalized. I had my caps locks on. All right, we'll do a lighter color for this. Very easy to do if you guys take the time to learn how to do this. We'll use a light blue, see if that works any. Do a stroke and a drop shadow, there we go. I could set your cam right here. You could do another box if you like. And that's pretty much it for that. So now you want to go up to, if it's going to let me do it, you want to go to File, Save As. This is where I save all my Twitch stuff. So you want to go down to PNG. And you, it has to be saved as PNG, not, JP, not JPEG or um, GIF. Because if you save it as that, it's not going to um, provide transparency so you can put your game here. So you save it uh, right there as that. We'll just save it to the desktop. There, it's saved. Now we'll exit out of here. Exit out of here. Close tabs. Now let's go to here. Now whenever you first start your stream up, well, first open OBS, it's going to look like this. You want to, your scenes will already be right here. This, just label them to keep it labeled. Um, sometimes I don't do that. I'm a little disorganized. But you want to right, go into sources, right click, click add, click to image. Just put uh, overlay. As long as it's the same resolution as the um, desktop, it should pop up. See? There we go. Now I can load. Let's load a game up here. I'll show you guys real quick. We will load. We'll load Binding of Isaac. I'll show you that. And to do this, you want to right click, click game capture, Isaac. binding of Isaac. Now it's going to pop up and show like this. You want to right click on the game capture right here, click properties, click stretch, stretch image to screen. Now make sure you move this down. Make sure your game capture is always at the bottom. Be 
Okay, this might look good to some of you guys, but it needs to be fixed. So you want to click Game Capture, click Edit Scene. Now I, these little red circles right here, put them to the box right there. Hold on, I'll get it in a second. Alright. Make sure you hold shift while you're doing this. There you go. And that's how you make a overlay for Twitch. If you guys need any help, let me know. Thank you guys.